Hello and welcome to another episode of Rust and Rob. Today we're working on this Alpine hammer. I know I showed you this one, my Vaughn, that uh, small, small hammer. Um, I like using this one, but I want to bling this one up. So we're going to turn it into the a good scout crafter challenge candidate and uh, it's just a plain Jane dollar hammer from the pawn shop so uh, sit back relax and watch how I clean this hammer up so what we've got here is this hammer is 11 inches so I'm gonna need to pop the head off of this hammer So, we'll be able to reuse this handle. But first, we'll dip this into some uh, evaporust. Overnight in evaporust. We'll see you tomorrow. Straight out of the vapor rust. So we got this out of the vapor rust. Now let's throw it on the wire wheel. Rubber wheel. I'm using a 220 belt on my belt sander. Eighty, one twenty, two forty, and three twenty. That's as far down as I'm going to go on this one. Um, might take it on the wire wheel, but let's uh, buff it and see where we're at. I'm using my buffing wheel to polish the metal.
here's what the hammer looked like in the beginning. So here is our final project um, of the Scout Crafter Hammer Challenge. Um, I had some issues. That gray stuff is actually JB Weld. Um, this is not the original hammer that came with this. It was a sacrificial hammer from, an, from another hammer I had. I had some tear out as I caught it. This project kind of turned into a small disaster on me. I started painting with a gloss citrus green. Uh, I painted all the head. I don't have pictures of it. Kind of in the grooves, left this part shiny. Wanted to kind of cover that up. But unfortunately, it just looked like a turd. My intent was to kind of get close to these pliers. These are just a cheapy dollar pair of pliers I got out of the pawn shop. The thing was frozen solid. I'm still in the process of cleaning it up. But it's just a workbench pair of pliers, but I couldn't leave them rusty and dirty. So I cleaned it up. I said, oh, I'll just get my hammer and match this. Unfortunately, it didn't work out very well. So, the next thing I wanted to do, I painted it satin fire orange. Kind of match some of my tape measures and stuff. Well, unfortunately, it just looked even worse. So I said, you know what, I'm just going to clean this thing up, polish it up, or just clean it off and paint it black. And then in the process of cleaning it up, I said, you know, there's original black paint from when I originally did this, because I didn't really... All I did was do uh, Evapo Rust, uh, Rust Remover, and then wire wheeled it, because I knew I was going to paint, and only kind of sanded uh, these parts. So... Um, this is my entry into the short handle challenge. It measures seven inches. Here's the one in my previous video that I made of the Scout Crafter challenge. This measures about eight and a half. This one here this hammer's Vaughn this was a no-name brand so there you have it my scout crafter challenge video um, of a churched up hammer and then the Vaughn that I originally had so tell me which one you like better um, should I clean this one up? What do you guys think? Leave comments below. And as always, please like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and obviously comment below. So, uh, until next time, um... <laughs>